Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I will explain how to create barcode report using SQL reports. Before watching, please remember to subscribe to my channel to get more hacks and tricks in SQL reports. In my inventory table, I have items stored by its barcodes. When you run this statement, you will find that every product has its equivalent barcodes. My goal is to generate a report that can be printed on a barcode printer with all these barcodes. Since SSRS is missing the functionality of giving you the option of having multiple columns, I need to generate row groups and column groups. For every row group, I need to generate four columns. In order to accomplish that, I use the row number with these formulas for the columns and rows. So if you look at my statement after I ran it, I have row number two and I have column number one, two, three, four, and then column number six, and then it repeats one, two, three, four, and so forth. This formula I have included in the video description. You can simply take it, apply it to your query, change the column names of your query column names, and then run it. If you wish to have more columns or less columns, you simply change the number in the formula, and then it will change the number of columns generated. Let's now go to the SQL report to see how we can use this query to generate our report. I will copy it, go to my report builder, generate a new table report, I will paste my query, hit next. I will pick my column, which I named as row group and pull it to my row group, my column group and pull it to my column group and my product, I will pull it to the values. I will leave the barcode for now. I will hit next. Since I have in group, then I need to select an aggregate function. I will use first because I don't want to change any value. I don't want any subtotals, so I will uncheck this. Next. And then let me run my report. Now it looks like this. Every product is in a different column, and I'm grouping the columns having the same row number on the same row. Now I wish to have the barcode as well presented in the same cell where the product is. Since this is not supported, all what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the cell. I will right click, insert a new table. I will remove the headers of the inner table. And I want only one column, so I will delete the extra columns. And I will insert a new row under this row. On the first row, I will select my product code. And on my second row, I will select my barcode. Now I'll start centering them and I will change the font of my barcode to be my barcode font. I'll increase the font size a little bit and I don't need the group headers. So I will just highlight them all using the control key and set them to be invisible. I'll make them smaller and I will delete my report title and I don't need a report footer. Now let's run our report. Now we have our barcodes presented in four columns. As I said, if you wish to increase the number of columns or decrease it, simply go back to your data set and change the number four to number three. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to get a notification for the next video.